Hello Fortniteers, Fully Loaded here back with another video. This video will show you how to complete the Fortnite Vibing Quest Part 3. So, I've uh, the first part of this quest is to establish a device uplink. I've uh, marked a location on the map. You can just see it on the right here, but uh, in-game I kind of struggled to find it. it. It didn't seem to pop up right away. But uh, anyway, I figure finally narrow it down. There you go. There's the device uplink just on the outside of town. And the next step is to damage opponents using a Star Wars weapon. So I'm assuming you can do this with a lightsaber or the blasters. Um, the blasters are available in the Team Rumble mode. Um, Darth Vader doesn't spawn in Team Rumble mode. So um, if you want to do it with the lightsaber, you're going to have to play a, a normal game mode. Um, but anyway, I'm doing it in Team Rumble. So there's these five locations where the shuttle lands. Um, you don't necessarily need to go to the location with the shuttle, but there's five spots where, where it will land per game. And there's these little structures, um, almost kind of look like utility sheds. Um, there's basically these chests that spawn in them, and uh, you can get the blasters uh, from within those, uh, those chests. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to this location to get the blasters. So there's the boxes I was referring to, and there's the blaster. You're going to need to complete this challenge if you don't use the lightsaber, that is. So anyway, uh, so next is just showing me in-game uh, putting damage to people. So again, Team Rumble mode's a great mode for doing this. There's lots of people, um, lots of opportunity, I guess. I guess there's fewer people in the game, but usually they're all concentrated by the, I guess, quickly depleting storm. And uh, yeah, you can uh, usually complete this in one game. If not, you can do it over a couple games, but it doesn't really matter. You don't have to do it in one game, but, uh, and this is an AFK player, so that gets me, uh, you need 500 X or 500 damage, I think, in order to, uh, to complete this uh, part of the quest. So after this, you have to establish another device uplink. So I'm marking this on the map here, uh, just outside of, uh, Coney Crossroads, so right by the bridge, and then you have to plant listening devices at the uh, Imperial Docking Bay. So those are the locations I was referring to where you can get the blasters. So there's one not too far from Coney. Um, so you'll see the structures they really stand up. There's usually, I think, about three, three or four structures <clears throat> at these Imperial Docking uh, Bays. So the exclamation point on the map highlights where you have to go to. Um, to plant these listening devices so they look like those little boxes there so uh, the other ones are sort of dispersed throughout the map so uh, here's the second location here this is where I got the blasters originally so engaging with that device and then the rest of them are in the mountain area so I'm driving to those locations um, again this is uh, the convenience of this mode is you know, less players to have to deal with, but you have to deal with the storm. So um, I'm hoping I can make it here to uh, to get the final one. You need to do this three times in order to uh, finish this particular part of the quest. So the exclamation point is highlighting where I need to go. And there you go. Um, and yet again, you have to establish another device uplink. So this is near the Joneses area. So I'm marking it on the map and it's just outside the storm so I'll have to go running in the storm and uh, try to grab it again I think it doesn't really appear initially sometimes they're a little slow to appear uh, so I'm trying to narrow down where it's at finally I grab some heal just in case oh I try to no I can't pick it up see it's a little glitchy there's some glitching going on here um, so anyway, I figure I gotta focus on where this device uplink is and there it finally appears and I, I don't think I can even grab it right away. It takes me a couple times to be able to engage with it. So there you go. So the next stage is to defeat, defeat Darth Vader. So this might be kind of misleading. You don't actually have to defeat, defeat Darth Vader or Darth Vader, sorry. Um, I just wanted to note that if you can get in here and you follow the shuttle um, at the beginning of a regular game, so I had to leave Team Rumble and go into a regular game mode, so I chose solo no build mode. At the beginning of each match, a shuttle will fly in a random, well, one of five random locations, I guess, if that makes any sense. And I like to 
land not too far from the shuttle but not right on the site grab a weapon and uh, you, you'll see what my strategy is here but basically all you need to do is put some damage on Darth Vader and if somebody else like usually there's a whole swarm of players that go in trying to get Darth Vader probably to complete this challenge or to get the lightsaber because he he basically leaves a lightsaber after you defeat him um, so all you have to do is get a little damage on him and if he gets eliminated by somebody else you get credit for that and it will complete this challenge so I just wanted to note that off off right off the jump but you have to survive that's the key so um, you'll see some players they they put some damage in on Darth Vader and then they go run and hide in a bush I think that's a pretty good strategy like the key is to get damage on Darth Vader and survive um, you have to be alive when he eventually gets eliminated by somebody so so that's important note so I think that makes this a little bit easier for you knowing that you don't actually have to defeat him yourself you just have to be a participant and survive his death so anyway you'll see where I and I don't do a lot of damage um, I'm coming in I can see some stuff flying around I'm, I'm assuming he's uh, using the force so I think I only get two shots in on him I'm, I seem to be hitting him um, but it's not doing damage, but I got two shots. I think 40 damage. I deal with this stormtrooper here So I take the stormtrooper out and there's a ton of loot laying around. So I'm trying to get some heal Somebody starts firing on me. I don't know if it's a player I think or another stormtrooper, but um, I jump in this bush to sort of get my bearings trying to figure out where Darth Vader is but a player comes running by here There's shots flying all over the place so I I put some this is the player that actually must have did damage to Darth Vader and jumped in the bush he's looking to survive so anyway um, I'm again just trying to get my bearings here I, I don't know how many players are around here but um, and I don't think I'm aware at this point either that um, like I don't actually have to kill Darth Vader because I'm actually trying to track him down to finish him off but I I hear some fighting in the distance this when you're fighting Vader, it can sort of, you guys can get spread out over the map quite a bit from where you started. So that's what has happened here. I'm hearing shots in the distance in a couple places, so I, I'm having a hard time narrowing where the action is. Um, so I'm thinking it's over here now. Um, again, it's kind of sparse. I, I think the battle has sort of really spread across the map here. So. Um, I think I almost give up on trying to track it down this game and then I head back to the uh, I'm just thinking like maybe maybe he's back at the uh, the landing site I see a player running around down there so um, yeah I'm, I'm looking to engage with that player from a distance I can't get a clear shot so I try to get a little bit closer and at some point along here you'll see where I get credit for the kill um, and this completes the part three uh, of the vibing quest so which was great for me i was like i didn't want to have i thought i'd have to do this over multiple games in order to get it done but it's good to know that so uh you just got to get damage on him and then if somebody kills him you'll get credit for it so and complete this challenge so this was much easier than i thought so i've got a couple players shooting at me now just lingering um i'm assuming they're just looking to survive trying to get credit for that vader kill so I'm um, healing up and here you go the somebody must have killed Vader and I'm getting credit for it here you can see clearly I'm not around Vader at all so hopefully this helps you